Hey guys, you can tell I'm not surrounded by <laughs> um, fields right now, huh? It's a, it's a university campus waiting for my husband to finish with his point appointment. And here's my princess, she's hiding from the sunshine. Here's my prince, he also hiding from the sunshine. Oh, oh, so cute. That's okay, you need the sunshine, huh? Yeah, we're masked up today. Um, I can show you a swimming pool. This is the biggest city in our prefecture. Um, I haven't been in university campus for a long, long time, you guys. It's just, wow. Um, we decided to get out of home and we heard that there is um, this shop in this big city it's like about 45 it depends an hour away from home with the normal roads if you don't take the highway not too bad but um, there is the shop here that we heard about um, that has uh, stuff from Costco so they go to Costco buy stuff and then you know put price over it and probably and you know um so we want to check what they have from Costco I love Costco we love Costco but it's, from home it's really far away the nearest one is like two hours have to cross a bridge to a different island and the highways here not cheap and not, you have to pay and go through gates and pay with automatic card that is inserted in your in a device in your car it's called etc card so they charge you automatically um if you go in the weekends it's cheaper but during the weekdays it's really expensive to go to, to use the highways but anyways this is a university campus it's cool isn't it it's really cool um while we're waiting for daddy, we're just taking a nice walk around the campus and the babies are kind of like, they took a nap in the car, so now they're like, we want to go up and about, but no, you can't. We're not home on the carpet. They cannot really walk yet. They, they started making steps a lot, but they're not like, you know, sturdy walking. So I can't really let them play here with the fall leaves. I can next year about the same time. I have no idea what this field is. Probably, is, I don't know, soccer field. I don't know what that is. But it's just really cool. Um, last night I stayed till late, till ten, which is late, you know, for a mom of five, right? With my oldest, and we were finishing up our uh, letters to Santa, so I can send them finally. And um, so he. He's the one that wants a, 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 a tent for the family. <laughs> Hello. Hello, little guy. He is a bit, he is a bit probably bored. Yeah. So it made me think of, um, you know, guys, have you ever thought about, like moms out there, have you ever thought about, um, you know, how we are the mentors of our kids and how we um they look up to us for information and they, they trust us right what, what we teach them what we share with them but i was thinking it goes both ways um i actually learn a lot from my oldest son because unlike the other two who are busy playing games and stuff he sits down and he shares with me information about about Japan, about like interesting facts about science and yeah, so I I think it's a good thing we, we learn things together um, we try new recipes he would go to YouTube and he would um, find like an easy recipe for making an ice cream so uh, we tried it. If you guys want, I can share with you too. Um, 
it's really easy it's um but he takes the time and he wants to try it at home with mommy and i just enjoy those times with spending time with my kids is i think one of the most precious things that i have on this earth because they grow so fast and then before you know it they're gone right <laughs> this guy keeps kicking his blanket he feels so trapped he feels so trapped oh, you, oh. You yes he wants to talk anyway so i think learning is both sides it takes both sides kids learn from you a lot of course and then you learn from them too and along the way you together learn how to communicate how to react what to expect from the other person right so um he wanted to make ice cream with mommy but like easy one so we tried before different ones like um egg white beat it and then egg egg yellow beat it separately and then adding uh, some um, vanilla extract so that makes pretty much um, just vanilla ice cream right that's what he said they made it make it out of um, in the convenience stores the soft creams that they just put in machines I'm not sure how true that is but he, he researches things in Egypt in Japanese so um, so he decided to try this one recipe um, it's pretty much um, it depends how much what the amount you want it to be the, the more eggs you have the, the more you can make but there's no dairy in and there's no milk it's just eggs and um, you buy chocolate bars and you melt them and we like to melt the white one and the dark chocolate that is a bit bitter and we melt them it depends how many we usually melt three three bars and they're not that big either here well so we melt them and then before that we melt uh, we um have like six eggs whites we beat them to white foam and put them away then we beat the eggs yellow with the um, with the melted chocolate together and it has to be of course a little bit cool down not too hot and the eggs probably shouldn't be from the fridge either so they don't cook with the hot chocolate right away um but yeah so we do that and then at the end we put the white foam and da -da, it smells ice cream it tastes like ice cream you don't need sugar or milk or any any of that no rich cream no nothing just eggs and melted chocolate because the melted chocolate has all the sugar in it that you need and um we put it in a box and we cool it down for at least four hours and you have real ice cream you guys i'm not kidding it's just so good it's so good the eggs and um melted chocolate that's it no much no big philosophy so well, yes little guy you're so you're so you're so 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 bored out of your mind i know i know i know but it's kind of chilly outside so we keep the blankets up it's chilly isn't it it's chilly isn't it yeah are you guys hungry for a little snack i have some chocolate bread um but uh yeah so somebody here i, I noticed forgot their either charger or like whatever it's called like earphones it looks like a phone charger or like the usb i don't know anyways <laughs> it's a university you guys kids forget everything anyway like i used to be a student and there was like water bottle here and then a charger there and it's just so cute they're still kids they think they're already grown up adults but yeah yeah um but yeah we all learn right doesn't matter age doesn't matter status we all learn all the time and i learn a lot from those two little ones because they teach me valuable lessons of how easy they forget the bad and how they focus on the good and how they are so positive all the time and, <laughs> and they have five teeth already each and I mean they're so 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 cute beautiful princess I love you princess I love you princess so yeah so we're just waiting for daddy here and 
Uh, my message today isn't gonna be that long because I probably have to feed the babies a little bit, but um, a snack before lunch. But I just wanted to share with you an experience that we're not, yay, we're not in our race fields behind me thing. It's, it's a swimming pool behind me. <laughs> um, and please um, spend more time with your kids and try to learn from them something. They always have something to share. If you have the ears to hear and the eyes to see, you, you can learn a lot from them. All right, let's say bye-bye. Let's say bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye, good job. Bye-bye. I love those kids. All right, have a wonderful day.